draw along to make your own prehistoric dinosaur scene picture. We're going to draw our T-Rex first and then you get to pick your background and I will show you how to do the background that I created, but you can make it your own. And I hope that you make a beautiful dinosaur and you love your picture. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And always remember that if I am working too fast, you can always pause the video or start it over and watch what I'm doing. So to start your dinosaur, you're gonna point to the top corner of your paper and slide your finger down just a little bit. Your dinosaur's head is gonna go right about here, not in the very corner, but down a little bit from there. Start the top of the head with a curved, stretched out line. So all you're going to do is kind of like a curved line that's flat in the middle. So you're gonna just curve up, across, and down. Then for the bottom of the head, you're going to make a line in, then back out. And for the bottom of the mouth, it's kind of like a stretched out curved line again. Go ahead and make a little upside down U for the dinosaur's nose, and then make any type of eye you want. It can be whatever you like. For the teeth, you're gonna make a zigzag line because the T-Rex has big, sharp teeth. Once you have your dinosaur's head finished, we can go ahead and get started on the body. It's kind of like a sideways letter J for the body. So you're gonna go down, up just a little bit, and then curve all the way around like a letter J. Same thing for the bottom. Go down, leave a little bit of room for the arm, make the belly, leave a little bit of room for the leg, and then curve around like a sideways letter J. For the legs, they have big legs on the bottom and then small arms on the top. So you, for the back leg, you're gonna make a line down, down, then curve in, and for this one, it's kind of two bumps. One, two. Then you're gonna do the feet. Out, in, out, in, out, in. For the next leg, you curve down, curve down, go in and in. Then same thing for the foot. Out, in, out, in, out, in. For the smaller arms, it's pretty similar to the back legs, just smaller. So down, down, curve down, and then out, in, out, in. Same thing for the front arm. A curve, then another curve, and go down, in, out, in, out. Then you can go ahead and add these little triangle shapes on your T-Rex's back, just to add a little texture and give you some more colors on your T-Rex. Once your T-Rex is done, you get to decide what to do for the background. Maybe you want Godzilla taking over a city. Maybe you want your T-Rex to be in outer space. Maybe you want your T-Rex on the beach. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did for my background, which is kind of like a prehistoric landscape. So to start my landscape, I made three lines or hills to break up the background space, just all the way across the paper and bump and jump over those legs. Same thing, I'm making a second hill, bump and jump, bump and jump, bump and big jump, all the way to the other side of the dinosaur. And then I made one last hill that bumps into the dinosaur's head. I went ahead and made a bumpy line to add some bushes on one hill. Just a simple bumpy line, almost kind of like a cloud. Bumpy, bumpy line. Just adding a few bushes to create some interest on that hill. I added some rocks with free form shapes or kind of like blob lines in the front. 
And then you're gonna work on the background. I made a volcano with two diagonal lines connected with a horizontal line, then a big wavy line for the lava, and a few little pieces of lava coming out the top. Then I went ahead and made a cloud. Again, bumpy line and a wavy line. And I made a nice big sun coming out behind my cloud with a circle. And last thing I did was make some trees. Now the trees are really, really big. That's why even though they're in the background, we only see part of them because the T-Rex lived in the forest with these really, really big tall trees that were so tall we wouldn't even see the whole tree when we were looking at the T-Rex this close. So adding in my trees, then once you're finished with your whole picture, you can go ahead and color it however you like. Remember your background can be different than mine. So I went ahead and colored my picture with markers. You can use crayons, color pencils, watercolor paint, regular paint, whatever you have that you would like to color with. And all I do when I color is I make sure that I outline first so that I don't get the colors in the wrong spot. This really, really helps me to make sure I stay inside the lines and I get the color where I want it to go. Sometimes if I don't outline first, I might make a mistake and accidentally color a part the wrong color. So once you've outlined, then you can just go ahead and fill in and try to keep your coloring in the same direction the whole time so it looks nice and neat. And then once your picture is all colored in, you can submit your beautiful drawings to your Artsonia account so I can see them. And I cannot wait to see your prehistoric picture.